What's going on, people? How you doing? TK coming at you here on social media. Hashtag Master Wealth Builders. Uh, just want to have a general conversation with you today about uh, you know this life experience that we're on, this journey that we all go through. You know, a lot of times, um, I think human beings are intrinsically fine or intrinsically uh, flawed because we always have to add ego and personality into everything we do. You know, when you talk about lower self and higher self, the average vibratory rate exists somewhere in the lower self. So people add in ego, they add in um, personality and sometimes or most oftentimes negativity has to be added into every situation which makes it an interesting dynamic when you're trying to accomplish a mission um, an example is I was at work and um, talking to a person about a situation I said hey this uh, <clears throat> caller ID situation is not accurate it needs to be changed and the person says well who am I talking to because I'm a supervisor and I don't like your tone so I said well let's not add personality into this let's just address the flaw and come up with a solution so oftentimes and more often than none, people add in ego, they add in personality, and then the negativity comes with an agenda. Because there's a lot of COINTEL Pro operatives that are paid to be a devil. So, think about Malcolm X situation. There was a lot of COINTEL Pro operatives within his organization, but it's throughout every organization where the FBI paid members of the organization to be disruptive and to be subversive. So within every organization or every organized body, especially if you read Executive Order 11490, you'll see a list of COINTEL Pro organizations that have been infiltrated but there's really no need to read off a list of organizations at the time that the um, paper was written because of the fact that um, you know every organization has people who uh, you know they're just paid to be devils they're paid to be in their lower house. And the problem I have is that it makes it harder to accomplish a mission because their purpose, their intent or agenda is to tear down any mission. Anything that provides progress, their job is to tear it down. And their spirit is an interjection. To whatever you're trying to do so a lot of times when you get into organized bodies that's what you run into and for me all my life it's been easy to see those spirits and it turns me off and I stop going to that organization so then it looks like oh you can't commit and no I just don't like committing to what's going on in that organization so my goal has always been to seek knowledge, to raise my vibration from my lowest house and to reach the Christ degree, to elevate my consciousness so that I can be more effective in what I do and then also inspire others to do the same. That's been my whole purpose to learn, to expand. 
but you have so many COINTELPRO demons that are counterproductive to that growth. So it, it takes more fight, more energy, just to find the truth. And even when you find the truth, you still have demons amongst the truth to inhabit your growth. And that's the duality of life with the opposite polarity energy to challenge you in your growth process and require you to earn every degree. So, I find it interesting when a lot of people don't have the ability to distinguish in discernment COINTELPRO operatives. Because once you add emotion and the spirit of dissent or division, it's obvious what your agenda is. I was on a, a lecture, webinar, and the certain person kept interjecting with division having side conversations about insignificant things to pull people's attention. So it's kind of like, okay, your intent is made clear when you separate emotion. Because you complaining about the way he's speaking into the mic or you complaining about the verberations of the audio system is a side conversation that has nothing to do with the information being put out. You know, I always tell people, focus on the message, not the smoke. People get into conversations and they always focus on smoke when the fire is what's causing the smoke. So that shows intent. That shows your agenda. And my thing is, I don't want to call a kettle anything other than a kettle. If you're a fucking devil and your intent is to cause division because you're a COINTEL pro operative being paid to prevent people's progress, then I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call a spade a spade. Because in 2018, people lack backbone, people lack morals, and they lack the ability to fucking accomplish anything with any tenacity, with any aggression, and with any uh, uh, methods that actually work. So people will debate, and people will, will uh, conjecture, but when it comes to actions or results, there's no such... There's no such thing. There's no actions or results. Even in my study, I seek to implement the information to produce results in my own life. Because one of the things that came out in the class that I just took was that we have 144,000 individuals within a movement and everybody's doing their own fucking thing and nobody's on the same fucking page. Even with the foundational paperwork, I'm finding it difficult to find one person to assist with the same set of fucking paperwork to submit. So the division of sex that's prevalent within dogma that you call religion is also in organizations. It's also in truth movements. It's also in the conscious community. So we don't have people of strong character, of forged steel, to actually accomplish and to be about solutions. We have twinkie filled feminized men who act like women. And not in the non-power sense, but act like women in the feminine sense of not having the strength as a man to proceed with any type of success mechanism. So you might as well be considered gay because your methodologies are ineffective and your strength is that of a fucking straw. 
So you have all of these people who just refuse to be effective. You have all of these people who refuse to self-identify. You have all of these people who will never be saved and never be pulled out because of the fact that they like being subjugated. As long as they can get kickbacks, they like being subjugated. And the, the truth of the matter, as I pointed out many times before, is that your subjugation leads to your death because you, through your own admission, invite yourself to a barbecue party that you don't believe is possible. When the thief clearly says that he has no allegiance to the fucking minions and that the minions shall be used only for the subjugation of slaves and they shall end up in the same place as the slaves. So why is it that you feel comfortable as a fucking COINTELPRO operative when you know you have the same fucking demise as the people you're selling out? And then why is it that you are stupid enough to settle for a fucking representation of land, resources, gold, silver, or money, as opposed to fucking going after the same thing that the thief that you're working for is going after in terms of you being paid in gold, silver, land, resources. No, you're taking and settling for the representation of the worthless paper. So you're no smarter and definitely don't deserve respect from the thief because you settling for the fucking shit that the thief represents in the items being stolen. So all you COINTEL Pro operatives and you secret society members, <coughs> you know, you guys, you, you trip me out with that shit. You know, you're settling for paper that's worthless the longer you hold it when the thief is just using that paper to represent what he's stealing. So when do you wise up? <coughs> You're going to sell your soul for paper that's worthless when that paper represents the land and resources being stolen from the people you're subjugating. So why don't you go after the same thing the thief is going after? But I'm going to point out COINTELPRO operatives because it's fucking easy to see your intent once you remove emotion. And my passion towards the importance of being productive in action, don't get confused with emotion. Because it's an expression, but it's an expression with the di direction and intent of being effective and actually fucking helping people and actually calling out the fucking people who are not helping. And technically, I don't have to fucking call you out because you call yourself out through your own actions and your own fucking intent. The problem is some people are too fucking clouded <coughs> and all they can see is the smoke. 